girl and welcome. I am Dr. Pauline Hu. In this video, I will present perpetuities. What is a perpetuity? It is a kind of annuity. In this annuity, it has the fixed begin date, begin a uh, fixed date, but the payment or deposit continues forever. What are the examples of perpetuities? The example include the dividends paid on preferred shares, uh, a scholarship paid from an endorsement and also interest paid for uh, permanently invested funds, consolidated annuities among the applications. So perpetuity, it has a, a fixed begin date, but it goes on and on and on forever. Because it does not have the end date, it does not make sense to calculate the term for a perpetuity. However, the present value of the perpetuity is a fixed number we can calculate. Uh, so recall that we use the PV to represent the present value of annuity. We use the same symbol to represent the present value of the perpetuity. And the PMT, periodic uh, rent of perpetuity payment. I, the rate of interest per conversion period. P, effective rate of interest per payment period. So what is the relationship between P and I? P equal to one plus I. This is the relationship between P and I raised to power C minus one. C equal to number of conversion period per year CY over number of payment per year PY. So let's look at the formula for present value of perpetuity. So this is a today or now. You make payment at the end of period one, that is PMT. At the end of period two, PMT. And this goes on and on forever. So term N is infinity. We use mathematical symbol. Uh, this one is infinity symbol. And the question is, what is the present value? We can still use the general formula. Remember, it is PV equal to PMT. One minus one plus I raised to power negative N, N equal to infinity over I. Mathematically, if something raised to power negative, big number, and this item tends to go to zero. So this one is actually zero, goes to zero. When you have a infinity number here, negative infinity as exponent. So if this goes to zero, the present value, it is just PMT over I. And if P, PY not equal to CY, if PY number of payment per year not equal to number of interest conversion period per year, so you use a P 
P represents equivalent rate for payment period. So P equal to one plus I raised to power six minus one. Excuse me for one second, my little doggy. Okay, come on. Sorry. All right. Um, so P equal to one plus I raised to power C minus one. C equal to number of conversion period per year CY over number of payment per year. Um, if you have perpetuity due, remember what is due means. Due means the payment is made at the beginning. So it is began mode. BGN. If it is made at beginning of period one, beginning of period two, beginning of period three, etc. You can just use this formula to calculate present value. Add the first payment to the present value of the annuity. The first payment as adjustment. And remember this raised to power negative infinity, this item, this item goes to zero. So the formula becomes present value of perpetuity due equal to PMT plus PMT over I. This is for simple perpetuity due. Simple means PY equal to CY. And when you have PY not equal to CY, that is a general annuity, PY not equal to CY. When PY not equal to CY, you have to figure out P, P equal to one plus I, that's a typo in PowerPoint. One plus I raised to power C, C equal to CY over PY. So let's take a look at an example. Calculate the amount of money invested today at 6% compounded annually, which will provide a scholarship of 1200 at the end of every year in perpetuity because the keyword is end. So this is a, a ordinary perpetuity. So present value equal to PMT divided by I, and you get present value. Okay. Um, the same question, suppose I change just one word at the beginning. Everything else remains the same, but I just change the end to begin. So I'll reread the question. Calculate the amount of money invested today at 6% compounded annually, which will provide a scholarship of 1200 at the beginning of every year in perpetuity. Just change the end to begin. So you you all do this PV equal to PMT plus PMT over I <coughs> so the final answer would be thirty two uh twenty one thousand two hundred because this 1200, that is PMT. So read questions carefully. 
the payment is made at the beginning or made at the end. So another example. What sum of money invested today at 6% compounded quarterly? Compounded quarterly means CY equal to 4. A year you convert interest four times. We will provide a scholarship of 1,000 at the end of each year. And so 1,000 is PMT. Uh, the scholarship is made every year, so PY equal to 1. And uh, what is the question here? The question asks you, what is the present value? That is the question. Because payment is made at the end, present value equal to PMT over P. Y over P, not over I, because CY not equal to PY. When CI, CY not equal to PY, you must calculate P first. P is equivalent rate per payment period. So P equal to 1 plus I raised to power C minus 1. C equal to CY over PY. CY is 4. PY is 1. So C equal to 4. When C equal to 4, P equal to 1 plus I. I is 6% compounded quarterly, so 6% divided by 4. Then raised to power 4, C equal to 4 minus 1. And this number is 0 0.0616. Okay. Once you figure out P, plug in PMT, 1,000, you get this is the present value. Okay. So again, if the question asks you, if I change the end to begin, if I change this to begin, BGN, the answer would be PV equal to PMT plus PMT over P. And equal to add 1,000 to this number. So 17,296.32. OK. So that is the perpetuity present value. Another example, a truck of land is leased in perpetuity at 1250 due at the beginning of each month if money is worth 7.5% compounded monthly. What is the present value of the lease? So what is PV? Because the keyword began so it is asked for perpetuity due, perpetuity due, the present value, okay? So present value equal to uh, PMT plus PMT over I. $1,250, that is PMT. I is 7.5% compounded monthly divided by 12, you get I. And plug in all the number into this formula, you get final result. Okay. So last example. How much money must be invested today in a fund earning 5.5 compounded annually? to pay annual scholarship of 2,000. Starting situation one, 
at the beginning or at the end of the current year two at the end of the year four years from now three immediately so excuse me no my little dog is making noise all right so first one the question asks you how much money invested today what is the present value pv so situation one you directly use pv equal to PMT over I Y over I not over P because PY equal to CY equal to one. If PY not equal to CY, you have to use P, not I. So PMT is 20,000 divided by I. I is 5.5%. Okay, so I'm going to quickly use this is my calculation tool. So two thousand five point five percent. So this is the amount. There's a decimal point here. Okay. This is question one. Question two, at the end of the year, four years from now. So four years from now, this is four years. Okay. So the question asks you, what is the present value here? We already know this money is at the point here. At this point, you got this money. So this served as the future value relative to today. Okay, so the question asks you, what is this PV? Okay, so you can directly use present value formula, PV equal to um, 1 plus i raised to power negative n this is fv this is fv here okay i'm plugging this number this number times 1 plus i negative n n equal to 4. so i'll just try to write it clearly So PV equal to FV multiply one plus I raised to power negative N, N equal to four. So I use this one here. So equal to FV is this number, okay, times one plus i, i is 5.5 percent, then raised to power negative four. Okay, so this is uh, the answer.
situation three, immediately. Immediately means now. Okay, so PV equal to, you can consider it is perpetuity due, equal to PMT plus PMT over I. equal to, so just this number, add 2,000. Okay, so it becomes 38,363, 63, 63. Okay, all right, in summary, uh, this video present perpetuity where annuity has infinite term n. So term n is very big. There is uh, no ending for the annuity. We calculated the present value um, based on whether it is a, a simple perpetuity or general perpetuity. Simple means py equal to cy. General means PY not equal to CY. Thank you so much for your time. See you next lecture.